some features of the cranial bone. The space in between essentially the eyebrows, so this is where your uh, brow is, this is the glabella. This here is um, a hole called the supraorbital foramen. The temporal bone has a lot going on with it. All right, so let's look closely at the temporal bone, so right under your ear. This big hole here, uh, we commonly call the ear canal. This is the external acoustic meatus. This big bump of bone back here, you can feel right behind your ear. This is the mastoid process. And this pointy process right here, this is called the styloid process. So a very stylish stiletto looking process right here. Okay. This extension of bone is actually processing towards the zygomatic bone, so your cheekbone. Okay, so this part of the temporal bone is called the zygomatic process because it is processing towards the zygomatic bone. Okay. This little indentation here where the mandible articulates, so this is your uh, jaw joint, this indentation on the temporal bone is called the mandibular fossa. go all the way around to the posterior side. We can see is the occipital bone. There is a line right here. This is called the superior nuchal line. This point in the middle of the superior nuchal line is called the external occipital protuberance. This line here, a little bit harder to see, is the inferior nuchal line. What we can also see underneath, uh, or at the, the base of the occipital bone, is this big hole right here. This is where your spinal cord is going to exit the skull. This is called the foramen magnum, or the big hole. On either side of the foramen magnum are smooth articular surfaces for articulation with the atlas bone, so C1. These are called occipital condyles.